Hey everyone, it's Chrissy from Everyday Survival Gear, and today we are reviewing, well not reviewing, we're kind of just testing the Cree XHP 70.3 HI uh, in a Convoy L6. The reason why I'm doing it in this light is because I got past reviews of this light up on my channel with an XHP 70.2 with a slice dome, and I got this one stock like six years ago, the exact same light with the XHP 70. So I'll put those videos below and you can check them out, and um... If I can find some old beam shots, I'll put them in side by side, but I don't know if I can. Uh, anyway, there's plenty of beam shots at the end, because we're going to go through the amperage, uh, the candela, and the output uh, before we get to the beam shots anyway. So stay tuned. So this is using a Cree XHP 70.3 HI in a 6500K tint, uh, which is 80 CRI, brought from K Domain. So you can see it there. So really, the only kind of modifications that have been done to this is the SMO reflector and the driver, and I changed the LED now. So that's basically it. Nothing else too extreme. Still the same stock driver, but it's just got the um, a bridge sense, sense resistor to get a few more amps out. So as I said, this does 10 amps at the tail cap. For that 10 amps, we get 5,660 lumens. Uh, which you'll see in the test later on. Uh, that also equates to about 243,000 KCD. So it gets 243,000 CCD. I also took a video of that. I ended up doing three tests, and the second test gave me 248,250 CD, and the last one gave me 234,500. So I kind of feel that if you were to get a different centering ring, like lower the centering ring. Um, you could probably get a few more KCD out of this uh, than what I'm getting right right now. There's no other uh, centering rings on the market that are low enough for the HI yet, but they might come out in the future. Those of you that do not know the uh, Convoy L6, I'm just going to run over a few specs pretty quickly. Also, I'll link the description down below in I'll link the video down below in the description of my past reviews. Uh, basically, it's a pretty big flashlight. It takes two 18650s, 26650s. I've got 21700s in here right now. They are a little bit long, but they do work. Uh, six volt driver, um, stock that does five amps. My one's modified to do 10 amps. Um, the reflector in here, what I have right now, is an SMO reflector. It is 67.8 mils in diameter. And uh, the LED right now that I've got in here is doing 10 amps. At the tail cap for 5,660 lumens. Uh, stock it comes with AR coated glass and yeah, so all around a uh, pretty good flashlight. I'm guessing a lot of people already own them anyway. That's why I always choose to do my light, my test in uh, convoy lights because they're pretty common and well known, and you can find a lot of reviews on on them on the internet. So now we can get to the beam shots. I think. Alrighty guys, now we're outside. We've got the Convoy L6 with the uh, Cree XHP 70.3 HI. And we're just going to do a simple ceiling bounce test. This is the exact same spot. Hey, look at my hands. This is the exact same spot that I tested the uh, Slice Dome XHP 70.2 in this exact same L6. So, um, yeah, we're hoping to beat 300 Lux on here. So 300 lux is about um, 5,000 lumens I calculated. So we're hoping to get a little bit more. This does do a little bit more amperage from the tail cap, as only about one amp extra. But um, we're hoping to get a few more lumens because it is a newer generation of LED. Yeah, and he stacks it on the way there. Hopefully not. Mode 4 is the highest mode. So there we are. Way over the amount of lumens 
that is output by the um, XHP 70.2 uh, slice dome. This one's a little bit more jumpy actually. I've never seen this um, in this L6. I never see it jump around the lumens that much. But it's holding steady now at 342 lux, which is about 42 lux higher than that XHP 70.2. So not bad. Alright guys, so now we've got the um, Candela test, so we're going to test the uh, CD. The um, XHP 70.2 is 150,000 CD with the Slice Dome and the uh, Work Driver. So that's a pretty good score, uh, and of course the SMO Reflector. So um, yeah, so we'll double check what this gets and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to go back 5 meters to where I was when I tested the other light and uh, we'll see how it does. Okay, we always do the best out of three, but 243,000 CD is a lot, so we'll double check it. Okay guys, usually I wouldn't put three turns on, like, in film, but considering that it's getting such high candela, like, I just have to. This is crazy. Okay guys, so now we're up to the beam shot part of the um, Convoy L6 with the XHP 70.3 HI. Um, got it on mode 2, so for those of you that haven't watched the first part of the video, this is only mode 3, we'll leave it here for a little bit. Um, this is basically a modified Convoy L6, the driver is doing 10 amps, uh, measured at the tail cap, uh, with a XHP 70.3 HI. This is for the people that skipped the first part. If you skip the first part, go back and watch it, because I tell you all the specs and all the testing there. Um, and it does about 5,660 lumens. I was supposed to write that down in my book, but I forgot to. And I took the middle measurement, and I got about 243,000 CD. So 243 KCD. Um, so quite a big improvement over my Slice Dome, which done my Slice Dome XHP 50.2, done 150,000 KCD. Sorry, 150,000 CD. So this is almost 100 more. So this is on the highest mode here. Um, and the cones are set out at, the first one's 50 meters, then 100, then 150, and the back trees are about 200, the very back trees. I kind of measured at 150 on the way down, and then on the way back up, it was actually a little bit longer. So they might not be that symmetrical. But, um, yeah. 
So um, one other thing I've got to tell you guys is this XHP 70.3 HI is actually a 6500K tint, but it's apparently supposed to be 80 CRI, according to K-Domain. I haven't confirmed that yet, and I'm yet to do the first part of the video, so I'll run back over, um, and I'll double check that. But apparently it's 80 CRI, so that might be why the output isn't extreme, or 5660 lumens is a lot. But um, yeah, we could probably push out a little bit more. If you had a little bit, if I had a little bit better driver, and that very back wall there that you guys can see is 400 meters, and this convoy L6 lights it up the whole way from here to there, 400 meters in distance. That's insane. Look at that, that back wall, so far. So um, yeah. This is the beam pattern. Very good actually. I brought my um, Sofran. SP70 with me to compare to this, but um, I'll leave this on for a couple more seconds because it seems to be handling this 10 amps pretty well. It's not getting overly hot. It's quite a big light, this um, L L6, so yeah. You can see just how throwy the beam is. It might not be the beam that everyone wants in an L6, but uh, it is bloody bright. It's a lot brighter than the, than the stock, stock one. So this driver that I got in here, for those of you that are interested, is a stock convoy driver. I just bridged over the sense resistor to um, give it unlimited current, but it's still going to be fairly limited by the other components on the board, so it's only doing about 10 amps. But that's no slouch, I guess. 10 amps is still a lot at 6 volts. That's over 60 watts, right? Isn't it? 10 times, yeah, 10 times 6. Well, probably about 7 volts, actually, at that, so about 70 watts. Pretty good. That's 400 meters there. I reckon we can keep this on for quite a while. Not sure the driver will su survive, but it's been pretty good so far for this three minutes that it's been on. Let's go to the tree that's about 50 meters away where that cone is. And yeah, that's how it lights it up, like daytime. All right, I think it's starting to get pretty hot now, but not too bad. I'm just gonna cycle modes. So when you modify this driver, you guys can't see that. That's the lowest mode, but it is turned on. Um, it does actually change all the modes up to higher output. That's mode 3, and that's mode 4, the highest mode there. Okay guys, just for comparison, now I've got it on the sofa and SP70. Um, with high drain cells, this does about, I think I measured it, 6,000 lumens. 6,000, 6 and a half. I've, it's been so long since I've done the, 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 the review on this, literally like 3, 4 years ago now, that I cannot remember. Um, but I remember it does do about 140,000 CD because it is a lot uh, bigger reflector compared to the L6. So we'll turn it on its turbo mode and it's got a ramp, but it's not an Andrew or ramp. It's just a ramp that they made at Sofran. Double click doesn't get us any higher. So that's the back wall there at 400 meters. And the last cone there is at... 150. If we compare them side by side, you'll see how much throwier the modded L6 is. Output should be pretty close. So this is the um, SP70 here and the L6 here. So I think the um, SP70 is still definitely brighter, but not by too much. And if we go to the back wall, so I'll turn off the um, the um, SP70, that's the uh, convoy L6 there at the back wall at uh, 400 meters. You can see it's actually, it is a little bit clearer than the um, SP70. And that's the SP70 there. Much wider beam, but that bigger reflector and the more output does help. Still using the stock um, XHP 70.2 in the SP70. I'll have to upgrade it to the HI one eventually. If you were to do it, I think um, the same amperage with these two, that would be pretty close. So SP70 here and L6 there to the um, 150 meters, pretty good. You can see a difference in tint. I thought they were both cold white, but maybe the um, HI is a little bit cooler. I don't think mine is neutral white, the SP70, but I'll put a, um, could be the OP reflector that the, uh, that the SP70 has must be helping a bit compared to the SMO on the um, L6. 
Mm. Both great lights, I must say. But this L6 is quite astounding right now. So this is just the L, L6 on now. Actually does a really, really good job to compete with the uh, SP70. Consider it is a bigger, heavier light. Alright guys, I'll wrap up the review now. So th this has been the uh, testing, not really a review of the uh, Cree XHP 70HI, 70.3 HI, sorry, in the um, Convoy L6, quite a beast. Puts out quite a lot of light and quite a lot of lumens. And um, it's quite an improvement over the standard XHP 70.213. This uh, HI version is actually very, very good. I, I like it and I recommend it. Okay guys, as always, like and subscribe and thanks for watching.